Chalra and welcome to my channel 5 Minute Economics where I teach economic concepts in a span of just 5 minutes. So today's topic is one of the most interesting topics in the study of economics. We're going to talk about game theory, its famous example of prisoner's dilemma and of course the Nash equilibrium. So without wasting any more time, I'll just take you in the video and grasp your attention for the next 5 minutes. So firstly moving to the definition of game theory. So game theory is a theoretical framework to conceive social situations among competing players, players as in uh, participants, to produce optimal decision making in a strategic setting. So in plain and simple language, game theory basically is a model of interactive situation between the rational players. The players, as I told, are the participants who are considered to be rational and the decisions or the choices of one participant is dependent on the actions and the choices made by the other participant. So game theory is widely used in the real world, in psychology, in war, in politics, in evolutionary biology, and in economics, it is widely used in pricing strategies. So moving further to the very famous example under game theory, which is prisoner's dilemma. So as the name suggests, we have two people or two prisoners who have been caught up by the police and they are in a dilemma that is a problematic state of mind. Our two prisoners are called Sanjay and Vijay and they have been convicted and caught up by the police for a minor crime like drug selling. But the police suspects and thinks that they both have committed a far major crime or heinous crime such as a murder. But the police has no evidence regarding that. So they try to interrogate them and force the confession out of these prisoners. So these two prisoners, that is Vijay and Sanjay, have been locked up into separate prisons and then interrogated by the police when the police gives them few choices to force the confession. So the number one choice is that if both of you deny about the murder, you both will get jailed for two years each. That is, you won't get anything for the murder because you have denied it clearly. You will be imprisoned for two years for drug selling. Secondly, the police says, admit that you both did the murder and you get one year, whereas the other gets 10 years of jail. So the police tells them that you admitted that you did both did the murder and you will be free and just get a reduced sentence of one year while your partner, because he has not even cooperated with the police, will get 10 years of jail. Thirdly, the police says if you deny and the partner confesses, then you get 10 years and the partner gets one year because you are not even cooperating with us. So you will just, you will get 10 years while your partner who has confessed will be free in just one year. And lastly, the police says that if both of you confess, then both of you get three years each. That is, if both of you say that, yes, we have committed the murder, then you will get three years each. So after reading all these choices, I'm sure that you might think that the prisoners will choose the option number one, which is when both of them deny that they have committed the murder and get two years each, because isn't it the globally optimum scenario, right? But we notice because given the incentives to these prisoners and knowing the fact that after all they are criminals and they are not friends and they don't have any loyalties towards each other, they both rationally end up choosing the non-optimal scenario. So this is all about what is prisoner's dilemma. So now I'll be explaining this with the help of a payoff matrix. So our two convicts are Vijay and Sanjay respectively and both of them have two choices each that is to confess or to deny. Okay, so we see that if both of them end up confessing, both of them will be in the jail for three years each. Whereas if Sanjay ends up denying and Vijay ends up confessing, then Vijay will be at a profit and he will be free in one year, whereas Sanjay will be in the jail for 10 years. Whereas if Vijay ends up denying and Sanjay says, yes, you know, we did the murder, he confesses it, he will be in the jail only for one year and Vijay will be in the jail for 10 years. Whereas lastly, if both of them, Vijay and Sanjay, they both end up denying about the murder, they will be in the jail for two years each. So looking at this, we think the globally optimal scenario is when both of them choose this, both of them deny regarding the murder because this is the least possible imprisonment they both can get. But we know 
that because you know they can't even interact with each other we have to think what the other is thinking they end up choosing this scenario because what is what vijay thinks is what if i deny and sanjay confesses then i'll be stuck for 10 years and he'll be free in one year so it's better to be in the jail for 3 years rather than being in the jail for 10 years right and similarly is sanjay's thought process he thinks what if i end up denying and vijay confesses i'll be stuck for 10 years and he'll be free in just like one year so it's better to be jail in for 3 years rather than again for 10 years so that is what happens from this scenario that is a two year scenario both of them end up confessing and reach this which is a nash equilibrium so nash equilibrium basically is when each player strategy is optimal considering the decision of the other players that is what is nash equilibrium and we reach from this to a nash equilibrium which is they both end up confessing and in the jail for 3 years each So guys this is all about game theory prisoner's dilemma and nash equilibrium i hope you were pretty clear with this i remember playing this game back in college and i remember when i was paired with one of my friends i was i ended up denying but when i was paired with one of my batchmates who i wasn't very close to i ended up confessing because i didn't know what she is going to do so you can also play this game with your friends and let me know in the comment section below if you do so Please do like this video and subscribe to my channel and hope to see you in the next video pretty soon.